فلقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله we begin from verse number 73 of سورة النهل أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ويعبدون من دون الله ما لا يملك لهم رزقا من السماوات والأرض شيء ولا يستطيعون فلا تزجب لله الأمثال إن الله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون And they worship from besides Allah what not has the power for them to provide from the heavens and the earth what not has the power for them to provide from the heavens and the earth anything and neither they can or they are able فَلَا تَزْرِبُوا لِلَّهِ الْأَمْسَى So do not put forth for Allah similitudes. When Allah knows, وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ While you do not know. اور وہ عبادت کرتے ہیں اللہ کے سوا جو نہیں اختیار رکھتے ہیں ان کو رزق دینے کا آسمانوں اور زمین سے کچھ بھی اور نہ وہ کر بھی سکتے ہیں یا استطاعت رکھتے ہیں. پس نہ تم پیش کرو اللہ کے لئے مثالیں بے شک اللہ جانتا ہے جبکہ تم نہیں جانتے تو اللہ سے دوست پیپل ہو ورشپ ادرز بسائیڈز اللہ اللہ از آسکنگ دیم کین دے پروائیڈ یو اینی تنگ فرم دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ کین دے پروائیڈ یو اینی تنگ فرم دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ وٹ از دی آنسر نو اینڈ نائی دے کین سو دین وائی آر یو ورشپنگ ادرز بسائیڈز اللہ جب تم اس بات کا اعتراف کرتے ہو کہ اللہ سبحان ہوتا ہے اللہ کے علاوہ دوسرے جن کو تم پکارتے ہو یا عبادت کرتے ہو تمہیں کچھ بھی نہیں دے سکتے نہ آسمان اور زمین سے کوئی چیز نہیں دے سکتے اور نہ جو ہے وہ استطاعت بھی رکھتے ہیں یا اختیار رکھتے ہیں کچھ دینے کا پھر تم کیوں اللہ کو چھوڑ کر اوروں کی تو عبادت کرتے ہو وین یو ٹاک ٹو سچ پیپل ہو کمٹ شرک جیسے وائی آر یو ورشپنگ اور انوکنگ سو اینڈ سو دے ول سی نو نو یو سی whenever you go to any prime minister or you want to go to any minister or you want to go to any important person or influential person you have to go through the secretary you have to go through their assistants only then you can reach them or you can have an appointment with them you cannot directly go so this is how they give example but that is that, that example have anything to do with the power of allah nahi nahi ان کے پاس ملنا بول تو ان کے جو ہے سیکرٹری ہے ان کے پی اے ہے ان کے اسسٹنٹ ہے ان کے جونیئرز ہیں ان کے ذریعے ہی سے جو ہے ان کی رسائی ہو سکتی ہے ایسے جو ہے براہ راست ہم ان سے نہیں مل سکتے ٹھیک ہے اپنی جگہ وہ صحیح ہے کیا اللہ بھی ایسا ہے وہ تم اس لیے جو ہے ان کے ان کے ذریعے سے ان کے پاس پہنچنا کیونکہ وہ تمہیں نہیں جانتے لیکن کیا اللہ تمہیں نہیں جانتا You say you have to go to X, Y, and Z to reach a so-and-so person. Okay, that's right in its own place. But that happens only because the concerned, important person whom you want to meet does not know you. Does not know who you are. So you go through so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so to reach that person. But Allah does, but Allah, does Allah not know you? Then why should you go through anybody? Allah is the one who created you with his own hands. Allah says we are nearer to you, nearer to you than your own juggler will. is jugular vein allah says i'm nearer to you than that and i know to you and i know you thoroughly inna alim bizat sudur i know everything thoroughly whatever transpires in your heart and mind i am well aware of everything i know you thoroughly because i have created you with my own hands so allah says don't go don't give these type of examples and try to convince saying that you have to reach to allah to all this all these similitudes don't put to allah doesn't make one bit of a sense suppose your father himself was a big person a very influential person a big minister will you go to anybody he says my father i can go to him directly why because the father knows you suppose so and so's father is a president or a prime minister or a head of an institution or an influential man or a very rich person or a big industrialist or so and so at the top then will his son go through anybody what nonsense is this That's absolute stupidity. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you and I with his own hands and he knows us thoroughly, then why should we go through X, Y, and Z? So Allah says, don't give these type of examples. Doesn't one bit befit you? Suhata hai nahi example. Allah ko jodun jete ho. 
फला तजीबू फला तजीबू लमसाल अल्लाह को ऐसे मिसालें मत दो डेक वन सेंस अल्लाह नोज वाइल यू डू नॉट नो अल्लाह नोज यू एवरी थिंग अल्लाह नोज तरो अबाउट यू बट यू डू नॉट नो द पावर ऑफ अल्लाह ضرب الله مثلا عبد مملوك لا يقدر على شيء ومن رزقناه منا رزقا حسنا فهو ينفق منه سرا وجهرا هل يستون الحمد لله بل اكثرهم لا يعلم puts forth allah the example of a slave puts forth allah the example of a slave mamlukan under the dominion of another mamlukan means under the dominion of another لا يقدر على شيء not he has power over anything not he has power over anything power razakh no you have to add no here and the other you have to add in bracket and the other in bracket you should say and the other mar razakhnahu whom we have provided him from us a provision good fa wa yunfiqu min husr wa jahra then he spends from it secretly and openly hal yastawun can they both be equal alhamdulillah all praise be to allah bal aksar hum la yalumun ne most of them not they know pesh karta hai allah misal ek gulam ki jo kisi ke mamlikat mein hai nahi wo ikhtiyar rakhta kisi cheez par aur ek aur ya dusra jisko humne rizq diya usko हमारे तरफ से रिस्क रिस्क हसन यानी बेहतरीन रिस्क फिर वो खर्च करता है उसमें से खुले और छुपे सॉरी छुपे और खुले क्या दोनों बराबर हो सकते हैं तमाम तारीफें अल्लाह ही के लिए बल्कि अक्सर उनमें से नहीं वो जानते a totally dependent he cannot any exercise anything on his own he cannot exercise any power of his own he is absolutely a dependent pul tarah se mohtaj ulam kuch bhi ikhtiyar nahi rakhta apna kuch bhi nahi kar sakta apne se and there is another person who allah subhanahu wa taala has bestowed him with everything and he has total control and he spends whenever he wants and he has total control over all that allah has provided for him can that slave and this man be the same answer is definitely no hal yastawun can they both be the same or equal definitely not likewise we are all slaves of allah we are totally dependent on him for everything antum al fakhara He says, Allah Himself says, "Ya Yuhanas, antumal fukhara, antumal fukhara ila Allah. You're all dependent on Allah. O oh, people, you're all dependent on Allah. Bahul ganiyul hamid wa Allah is free of all needs, praiseworthy. Tum sab fakir ho, tum sab Allah ke mohtaj ho. Allah gani hai, tamam tarifon ke liye. So when a slave and the boss or the owner can't be the same now how can we as slaves whom we invoke nauzu billah besides allah they are all slaves unto allah how can they and allah have the same powers definitely not allah is the supreme creator he is the khallaqul alim he is the supreme creator he is the all knower he is the all wise he is all seer he is the all aware khabiram basira واحد القهار رب العالمين احد الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد you can keep describing allah describing allah describing allah with those best attributes which allah subhanahu wa taala has shared with us and he has tremendous control and power and he exercises his power and control unilaterally and he is the one the irresistible the all wise the all knower the all powerful and the others they are all slaves and whom the people worship besides allah are also slaves of allah so they can't be the same but allah subhanahu wa taala says this people are not prepared to 
understand this basic thing. Most of them don't seem to be having that little knowledge also of this. وَزَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَسَلَ الرَّجُلَيْنِ أَحَدُهُمَا أَبْكَمُ لَا يَخْدِرَ لَا شَيْهُ وَهُوَ قَلُّنَ لَا مَوْلَاهُ اَيْنَمَا يُوَجِّهُ لَا يَاتِ بِخَيْرِ هَلْ يَسْتَوِي هُوَ وَمَنْ يَعْمُرُ بِالْأَدْلِ وَهُوَ لَا سِرَاتٍ مُسْتَقِيمٌ And puts forth Allah the example of two men, رَجُلَيْن رَجُلَيْن means two men. One of them, أَبْكَمُ دَمْ Not he has power over anything. And he is a kallun ala mawla. It means he is a burden upon his master. He is a burden upon his master. Wherever he directs him, la yati bikhair. Not he brings any good. Can he be equal? He and the one who yamuru bilad, who commands with justice, bahu ala suratil mustaqim. And he is upon the straight path. Pesh karta Allah misal do admiyo ki. उनमें से एक गूंगा है नहीं अख्तियार रखता किसी चीज पर और वो बोझ है अपने आंखा पर या अपने मालिक पर जहां भी वो उसको भेजे नहीं वो ले आता कोई भी भलाई क्या वो बराबर हो सकता है वो और दूसरा शख्स जो हुक्म करता है इंसाफ का और वो सीधे रास्ते पर है जवाब है डेफिनेटली दोनों एक नहीं हो सकते बोझ कैन नॉट बी दिविंग वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एक और मिसाल अल्लाह दे रहा है पहली मिसाल एक्सप्लेन की हो ना दूसरी दूसरी मिसाल है जहां पे अल्लाह सुबह एक मोमिन और काफिर की मिसाल देता है दो आदमी इधर तफसीर से मालूम होता है कि एक मोमिन है और एक काफिर है पहला वाला काफिर है जो किसी चीज पर अख्तियार नहीं रखता वो जो है दुनिया में भी जमीन पर बोझ है अपने आंखा पर बोझ है और कई मबूदों का जो है वो मोहताज है कई मबूदों का मोहताज है कोई भी भलाई का काम उससे सरजद नहीं होता कोई भी भलाई का काम वो सिर्फ गुना पर गुना करता है कोई अच्छा काम कोई भलाई का काम उसके हाथ से नहीं होता दूसरा शख्स है जो अदल और इंसाफ पर कायम है और वो सीधे रास्ते पर चलता है यानी एक मोमिन क्या एक मोमिन की जिंदगी और काफिर की जिंदगी एक हो सकती डेफिनेटली नहीं हो सकती कैन द लाइफ ऑफ अ डिसबिलीवर एंड द लाइफ ऑफ अ बिलीवर बी द सेम द लाइफ ऑफ अ डिसबिलीवर इज डायरेक्शन लेस हीज नो डायरेक्शन इन लाइफ He has no goal, no ambition to achieve or to gain success in the hereafter or even in this world. Whereas a true believer, his establishes justice in his life. The justice is other name of Islam itself. He commands the teachings of Islam. He lives by the teachings of Islam. He shares the teachings of Islam with others, and he conveys the message of Islam to the others. He, his life is full of justice, and he is fair and just to everyone, which means he fulfills the rights of Allah. And fulfills the rights of human beings, and he follows the straight path. Where does he get the straight path? From the Quran. So the life of a disbeliever and a believer can't be the same. And Allah gives this beautiful example here to explain to us. Wa lillahi ghaibu samawati walars wa ma amru saati illa kalam hal basari aw huwa akhrab. Inna Allaha la kulli shayin qadir. And for Allah only belongs. The unseen. That means Allah only belongs the knowledge of the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and not is the command of the hour except kalam hil basar, like the twinkling of the eye, like the twinkling of the eye, or who akrab or even nearer. When the Allah is upon everything, khadir all powerful. Or Allah hi ke ilm mein hai, tamam poshida chizein asman aur zameen ki aur nahi hai kiamat ki ghadi, magar sirf jaise. पलक झपकने के या उससे भी ज्यादा करीब बेशक अल्लाह हर चीज पर कुदरत रखता है अल्लाह फरमाता है पूरे आसमान और जमीन की पोशीदा चीजों का इलम अल्लाह को है वाला यू ही तो विषय मिलने में है नो बडी कैन एनकम्पस द नॉलेज ऑफ अल्लाह सुबह नाला एक्सेप्ट वॉट यू विशेष टू शेयर समथिंग ऑफ इट कोई अल्लाह सुबह नाला के इलम को हिया तिहाता नहीं कर सकता उसका इतराक नहीं कर सकते पूरे आसमान और जमीन के तमाम पोशीदा चीजों का इलम अल्लाह ही को है वो काली चुमटी जो एक काले पत्थर के अंदर अंधेरी रात में भी जो है उसको रिस्क पहुंचाना और उसका जो है चलना ये भी अल्लाह सुबह के इलम है और क्यामत की घड़ी ये सिर्फ कुन फयोकुन का मामला अल्लाह के लिए कुन फयोकुन मतलब हो जाओ हो जाए बस अल्लाह फरमाएगा क्यामत बरपा हो जाए क्यामत बरपा हो जाए 
this aankh chapakte na when it when the eyes twinkle you know how easily and how quickly one can close his eyes and open faster than that allah can make the qiyamah be established that is the power of allah palak chapakne ki der bhi allah ko zarurat nahi ho aw huwa aqrab hai usse bhi jo hai faster allah subhanahu wa taala jo hai qiyamah ko qaim kar sakta hai allah can establish the yawm al qiyamah as quickly as it takes to close your eyes and open it or even faster than that this is the power of allah you need to really think sometimes how allah subhanahu wa taala is governing this universe he listens to everybody's supplication he knows the intentions he knows the feelings of the heart he knows everybody's problems he knows their difficulties he knows in and out of everybody he answers everybody he arranges the affairs of this universe he disposes the affairs of this universe he controls the entire affairs of you all alone and there are countless number of allah's creatures countless to each of them he is providing he is fulfilling their needs kya power hai ka allah ka so we soche to jo hai hamara dimag kaam nahi kare mind block hai har ek hi samajhta hai ki allah mera hi hai meri baat sunta hai tumhari bhi baat sunta hai kisi aur ki at a time all decisions taken by allah subhanahu wa taala what power what power so allah subhanahu wa taala says allah has total power over everything inna allah ala kulli shay'in qadir all these are the verses which really make you think and reconnect ourselves with allah it reinforces our iman hamare iman mein taazgi paida hai mera khuda mera malik mera malik mera palne wala kya mere ko aise hi chhod dega अलाई सल्लाह भी काफी नबदा कि अल्लाह अपने बंदे के लिए काफी नहीं है अल्लाह अलाई सल्लाह भी काफी नबदा इज अल्लाह नॉट सफिशियंट फॉर इस लेव अल्लाह इज दी मोस्ट सफिशियंट फॉर इस लेव यू कैन कॉल इम एनी टाइम कॉल इम सिंसियर हैव हार्ट टू हार्ट कॉन्वर्सेशन विद हिम एंड यू कैन डू वंडर्स फूल यू कैन डू वंडर्स फूल एंड अल्लाह विल प्रोवाइड एज मच एज यू हैव फेथ इन जितना तुम पर अल्लाह पर भरोसा और ईमान हो और जिस ईमान के साथ तुम अल्लाह को पुकारोगे उतना ही अल्लाह सुबह दोगे और अल्लाह निकालता है तुम्हें तुम्हारे माओ के पेटों में से जबकि नहीं तुम जानते थे कुछ भी और वह दिया तुम्हें कान और आंख और दिल ताकि तुम शुक्र गुजार बनो वेन यू एन आई वे बॉन इट वी नो एनी थिंग वॉट इज है नॉट पुट लव इन दार्ट ऑफ द पेरेंट्स If Allah had not put love in the hearts of the parents, imagine what you would have been. You would have died long, long ago. Even you and I would not be surviving now or existing. Who provides the milk from the mother to feed that infant child when it is born? Have you ever looked into all this? We didn't know anything. But our parents. brought us up out of love and affection to care of us provided us with the exposure to knowledge and made us adults do we do we care for them do we really care for them the way we should whether allah subhanahu wa taala says then he provided for you hearing sight and hearts and mind you this is the way the fetus inside the wombs of the mother develops first it starts to hear then it starts to see then the heart starts pumping exactly like how allah subhanahu wa taala develops the fetus inside the mother is what is explained over here wajala lakum sama wal absara wal afida then you come out as an infant child grow up become 
a teenager, a young man, or a young woman, and an adult. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you all these, for showered you with all these blessings. First, He gave you to be conceived. First, He ought, He made it a possibility that you can be conceived in the womb of your mother. Then you came out safely into this world. Then you were taken care by your parents. Then you grew up. What are we supposed to do? In order that we may ponder over these blessings which Allah has conferred on us and be grateful to them. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ki niyamatun ka shukar ada kare. Pehli chiz Allah ne hume bekhayriyat dunya mein le aya. Humare maabab ke dil mein mohabbat dali humare le. Maa ka dood humne piya. Maa aur baap mil kar juhay din aur raat ko ek kar ke hume bada ki hai. Aur phir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ne gives you intelligence. Hearing, sight and heart all means intelligence. Sochne samajh deka jo hai Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ne tumhe wo madda diya. He provided you the capacity to think. He gave you, he empowered you with intelligence. What are we supposed to do? Be grateful to him. This hadith which comes to my mind with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said. The best way to show gratitude to Allah is to use those blessings which Allah conferred on us to please him. To seek the pleasure of Allah. بہترین طریقہ شکر کرنے کا یہ ہے کہ اللہ نے جو جو ہمیں ہم کو جو ہے اپنی رحم رحمت سے اور اپنے مہربانی سے جو نعمتیں ہمیں عطا فرمایا اس کو اللہ کے بتاوے طریقے پر استعمال کرنا یہی شکر گزاری ہے کان دیے تو اچھی چیزیں سنیں آنکھ دیے تو صحیح چیزیں دیکھیں دل رکھے تو دل کو پاک رکھے اللہ کی یاد سے جو ہے اس کو منور رکھے اللہ گیون اس ایئرس ڈونٹ ہیئر اینی تھنگ رانگ اور سنفل اللہ گیون اس ایئرس ڈونٹ سی اینی تھنگ سنفل اللہ اس گیون اس ہارٹس ڈونٹ نرچر اینی نیگیٹو نیگیٹیوٹیز ان سائڈ دا ہارٹ کیپ یور ہارٹس کلین ایز اللہ سے بے خلب ان سلیم ا ساؤنڈ ہارٹ خلب سلیم And further, the Prophet Sallallahu said, when a believer starts being grateful to Allah by performing all those obligations which Allah has ordained, then he draws near to Allah. And further, he draws near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by practicing a lot of nawafil, additional good deeds like nawafil prayer, nawafil fasting, nawafil spending besides the zakat, Sadha and Khairat, etc., etc. And he becomes so close to Allah that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that his ears become Allah's ears, his eyes become Allah's eyes, his hands become Allah's hands, his feet become Allah's feet, which means that he now does everything which Allah likes. And he doesn't do anything which is against Allah's wish. And then when he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah grants to him. And Allah starts loving him. So a person who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who in tamam ni'amatun ke zariye Allah ki khushnudhi hasil karte hai uska joh hai kharib hote chale jata hai aur ya tamam joh hai faraiz ki adai ki mein aur nawafil ki adai ki mein aur bhi kharib hote chale jata hai hote jata hai اس حد تک کہ اللہ کے اس کا کان اللہ کا کان بن جاتا ہے اس کی آنکھ اللہ کے آنکھ بن جاتے ہیں اس کے ہاتھ اور پیر اللہ کے ہاتھ اور پیر بن جاتے ہیں اور بندہ جو کچھ مانگتا ہے اللہ اس کو دیتا ہے یہ ہوتی ہے شکر گزاری دس از واٹ از مین بائی ڈنگ ویٹ فور گاڈ بیوٹیفل حدیث ہوتا ہے اللہ سلام علیکم اللہ سلام علیکم کا شکر سوامی علم یرو دیکھا ان پرندوں کی طرف مسخر کیے ہوئے آسمان کی فضا میں نہیں کوئی تھامے ہوئے ہیں ان کو سوائے اللہ کے بے شک اس میں ضرور نشانیاں ہیں ان لوگوں کے لیے جو ایمان رکھتے ہیں لکھے دو اسمال لٹل برڈ اللہ سے ہاؤ دے گلائڈ 
in the sky. Who's holding them? Small little birds. But what power they have. They travel from continent to continent across several oceans day and night, non-stop. They fly from one end to the other. Who's keeping them suspended there? We talk about aerodynamics. We talk about advanced technology. But look at these birds. Who's keeping them suspended in the sky for so long? And again, they fly back the same direction without even missing slightest of direction in the same angle. They fly back and reach their destinations. Have you ever looked into it? Wallahu jala lakum min buyutikum sakanu wa jala lakum min julud al-annami buyutan tastakhifunaha. Tastakhifunaha yawma zanikum wa yawma ikhamatikum wa in aswafiha wa awbariha wa ash'ariha athasun wa matan ilahin. And Allah made for you from your house, from your houses, a place of rest or a place of protection. And Allah provided for you from your house, a place of refuge, and made for you from the hides of the cattle, tents. Buyutan refers to your tents. Thus, taqifunna, you find them light on the day of your travel and on the day of your stay. Women aswafia, and from its wool, for awbaria and its fur, washaria and its hair, Asasa are furnishings for matan lahin and materials of convenience for a while. Or Allah ne banaya tumare ko tumare gharo mein se sukun ka sukun ki jaga ya rehne ki jaga. Or banaya tumhe tumare maveshon ke ya chopaon ke khalo mein se khime. Tum halka paate ho usko tumare kuch ke din aur tumare thehne ke din. Or uske avan aur uske ruhi aur uske bal میں سے جو ہے سامان ہے اور بہت فائدے کی چیزیں ہیں ایک وقت کے لیے تو اللہ سے جب یو لک ان ٹو دا سیم ہاؤسز ان وچ یو لیو یو ٹائرڈ یو کم ہوم اللہ از پرووائڈیڈ یو شیلٹر ٹو ٹیک ریسٹ ٹو فائنڈ سم ٹرینکولیٹی اینڈ پیس از اٹ ناٹ اے فیور آف اللہ دین لک ایٹ دی ہائٹس آف دی کیٹل وین اٹ از ریموو فرام دا باڈی آف دا اینیمل It starts thinking. You like to get rid of it as early as possible. But advanced technology has helped you to develop it into your garments and you make tents. And that skin of the animal, which is not worth more than 100 or 150 Indian rupees, becomes 5,000 rupees or even more when it is sold in the showroom as a leather garment. You take all the benefits which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided you and then you still thank others besides Allah, worship others besides Allah. What's gone wrong with you? Kya ho gaya tu? Tum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ke in diye huye niyamaton ka tum najaiz faida utha kar Allah ke saath auron ko shariq khe raate ho? Allah hi ki niyamaton ke istimal karte ho? Allah hi se bagawat karte ho? Na shukri karte ho? Kya ho gaya tu? اللہ جالا لکم مما خلق زلال و جالا لکم من الجبال اکنان و جالا لکم سرابیلا تخیکم الحرہ و سرابیلا تخیکم باسکم قذالک یتم و نیامتہ و علیکم لعلکم تسلمون فائن تولو فائن مالک البلاغ النبین یارفون نیامت اللہ سمہ ینکیرونہ و اکثرہم الكافرون And Allah made for you from what he created the shades and he made for you from the mountains Aknana, places of refuge or in bracket caves. And he made for you garments to protect you against the heat. Harra means heat. And garments to protect you in your warfare. Pasaku. Thus, he completes his favors upon you so that you may submit before him. Then if they turn away, then only upon you to convey clearly. They recognize the favors of Allah, yet they deny it. They recognize the favors of Allah, yet they deny it. And most of them are ungrateful. Kafirun here refers to ungrateful. And Allah has made you from the earth, which he has made you from the earth, and 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 made you from the earth. وہ پورا کرتا ہے اپنی نعمتیں تم پر 
تاکہ تم فرما برداری اختیار کرو پھر اگر وہ منہ پھیل لیں تو صرف آپ پر اللہ کے رسول بات کو پہنچا دینا واضح طور پر وہ پہچانتے ہیں اللہ کی نعمتوں کو پھر بھی وہ انکار کرتے ہیں اس کا اور اکثر ان میں سے ہیں ناشکر سو دیز آر آل سم آف دا بلیسنگ آف اللہ وچ از ہائی لائٹنگ اینڈ ہیئر اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سیز ہی ہیز کریٹیڈ فار یو سچ ٹال اسٹرکچرز ان دا فارم آف ٹریز وچ گیو یو دا شیڈس انڈر وچ یو ٹیک پروٹیکشن یو ٹیک ریسٹ دین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہیز آلسو پرووائڈیڈ فار یو گارمنٹس اور ہی پرووائڈ فار یو کیوز ٹو ہائڈ ان سائڈ دا ماؤنٹینس and he provided for you garments which protect you against the heat and protect you in your warfare these are all the favors of allah these are all the favors of allah which he has conferred upon man why lalakum tuslimun so that you may be obedient to allah so that you acknowledge allah subhanahu wa taala's power so that you may submit and surrender before him worship him alone put your trust on him alone supplicate to him alone for he is the one only who has provided everything for you And further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the people recognize the favors of Allah. When you ask them, who sends down the rain, they will say Allah. When you ask them, who provides you the provision and the sustenance, they will say Allah. Then why do you worship others besides Allah? What is the necessity for you to perform, or to, to worship anybody else besides Allah? Or to have hope on, besides, on anyone else besides Allah? O Prophet, convey to them this message of Islam. If they accept, they will be benefited. If they just turn away, then your responsibility ends only in conveying the message to them. So these people, in spite of recognizing the favors of Allah, yet they deny it. And most of them are ungrateful. These people do the same thing to Allah. They do the same thing to Allah. They do the same thing to Allah. But in Allah's name, in the name of Allah, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ham se behet mohabbat karta hai. Allah loves us a lot. That's why he has provided everything for us. We need to really thank Allah as much as we can. The best way to thank, as I said earlier, was to utilize these favors to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah enable us to do so. We stop here for today's prayer session. Inshallah, we'll continue with the rest of the verses tomorrow. Same time, kindly don't miss the class. I feel the attendance is going down. I can see very clearly the attendance is going down. Now that Ramzan is over, And you had your genuine reasons in Ramzan. I don't want to discuss on it. But now that Ramzan has gone over and now you're back to the classes once again. Kindly don't miss the class. Contact your friends who have been attending the classes and motivate them once again to rejoin. May Allah make it easy for us. Ameen. Wa'akul ta'wan. Ameen. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Subhanallah. Bihamdi. Hizbanakallahumma. Bihamdi. Karnashadu. Allah. Ilahi. Lanta. Nastaghfiru. Kanatubu. Alaykum. Assalamu alaykum. Wa rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh.